Hi everyone, Grant K here for the Flame Premium Learning Channel. In this video, we're going to look at the exporting update in the Flame 2016 product family. In the last few releases of Flame Premium, exporting was performed as a background operation. The benefit of using background exporting was that you could continue to work in the foreground while your clips were being exported. Separate background services manage the export. As a result of this, any unrendered clips must be processed before a background export takes place. Now, obviously, for compositing jobs, you would probably be rendering during the production to monitor your work and produce the final results. So, in this scenario, additional rendering during the background export would be non existent. But if you were doing very general work, for example, you grade each shot, title, or watermark the entire sequence, you can normally see and approve all of this without any rendering. However, attempting a background export would force render everything before exporting. All of this requires additional time and extra disk space. New frames need to be generated for all the effects because the background services can only export physical frames and not VFX metadata from the Flames VFX pipeline. Now, with the introduction of foreground exporting in Flame Premium 2016, you can export clips immediately without rendering them. So, this sequence has a few unrendered VFX. There is a mixture of batch effects and timeline effects applied to the segments. When you go to the Media Hub and drag the sequence clip to the File Browser window, you will get the Export window. Choose your export type and the format preset that you want to use for the export. To the right of the export window, there are a few options for you to select. As a reminder, you can force the export to always use the topmost video track. And you can also set the in and out point as the export range. Now, to export as a foreground process, just enable the button. You don't need to view the advanced options unless you have a specific requirement. When you press export, a progress window appears and you can monitor the export progress. Unlike background exporting, the interface locks out because all resources are focused on the export. Once the export process is complete, you can review it in the Media Hub. If you return back to the timeline view, you will notice that the sequence is still unrendered. The foreground export reads through the sequence and exports whatever it sees in the frame buffer. The segments can be rendered or unrendered. So, in summary, background exporting requires rendering prior to export, but it does allow you to keep on working. Whereas foreground exporting can export without rendering that can save time and disk space. But it does lock the interface until the export is complete. Comments, feedback, and suggestions are always welcome and appreciated. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to the Flame Premium Learning Channel for future videos.